Hello everyone, how you folks doing? My name is Armando. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, one of probably one of the greatest uh, Paniolos to ever come out of Hawaii. And his name is Ikua Purdy from the Big Island from Hawaii, from Waimea. So this video is a tribute to Hawaii's great Paniolo, Ikua Purdy. Okay? Now, today, so today we pay tribute to the great Paniolo who paved the way for a generation that came after him. And that's Ikua Purdy. Uh, he was one of the most illustrious Paniolos in history. Ikua Purdy was born in 1873 at Waimea, Hawaii, and he was the great grandson of John Palmer Parker, founder of the famed Parker Ranch, and Kipikani, granddaughter of King Kamehameha the Great. He learned to ride and rope on the Parker Ranch and competed in riding for roping events on the Big Island, Oahu, and Maui. Okay. Now, long before mainland rodeos, Hawaiian Paniolo rode the range and hunted wild cattle on the Big Island. Ten-year-old Purdy learned to rope wild bullocks, and he and others practiced the clever method of taming unbroken horses in the ocean. The horses in several feet of water soon gave, gave up trying to buck off their riders. Okay? Now, through the years, through the years, um, many Paniolo proved themselves exceptional athletes horse handlers and cattlemen. Three drew the attention of a wider audience when they competed in the 1908 Frontier Days celebration in Cheyenne, Wyoming, the top contest of the day. Eben Rawhide Ben Lowe, owner and manager of Puvava Ranch, attended Frontier Days in 1907 and knew his ranch hands could do better than the mainland cowboys. In 1908, he sent three of his top men, Equal Purdy, Archie Ka'au, -au, Eben's half-brother, and Jack Lowe, Eben's brother, to the competition. Okay? So, sent them to the competition. Now, by the time he was 20, Equal Purdy was a master of the rule. In 1903, he and his Paniolo friends participated in the first publicized cowboy competition recorded in Honolulu. Five years later, Purdy and other Paniolos competed in 1908 Frontier Days Rodeo in Cheyenne, Wyoming. The Paniolo made a colorful entrance in Cheyenne wearing their vaquero-inspired chaps and hats with the flower lay. It must have been something. Can you imagine? Okay, now. So they competed in that. Now headlines in the... In the... Uh, uh, island and Wyoming newspapers in August of 1908 announced the rodeo history. There were 12,000 spectators, a huge number for those days, watched Ikua Purdy, Eben Rawhide Ben Lowe, and Archie Ka'ua Ka Ka carry off top awards at the world famous Cheyenne Rodeo. Unlike today's calf roping, riders lassoed powerful full grown steers. The Cheyenne paper reported that the performances of the dashing Hawaiians in the vaquero style clothing and flower covered slouch hats took the breath of the American cowboys. Wow, check that out. 
Now, under drizzling skies, Purdy won the World Steer Roping Championship. Roping, throwing, and trying, and tying, I should say, the steer in 56 seconds flat. Ka'aua and Lo took third and sixth place. On arriving home, the men were met at dockside by thousands of cheering fans and also honored by parades and other festivities on Maui and Hawaii. The islands have produced other rodeo greats, including Sebastian Riney, who could ride backwards while roping a running bull, but the three Paniolo who swept the 1910 Cheyenne Rodeo remain heroes to this day. And they are very well remembered. Day. Ikoa Purdy never returned to Wyoming, but his feet elevated the status of a Hawaiian cowboy to a new level. He worked another 30 years, mostly as foreman on Maui's Ula Palakua Ranch. He rode his way into legend and song. He was the inspiration for three of the best known Paniolo songs Hawaiian Rough Riders. Puuhulu and Waiomina, which refers to Purdy and Archie Ka'aua as rascals of the lariat. Okay. In 1999, Purdy, Ikua Purdy, was voted into the National Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame, the first Hawaiian ever to be nominated. That year, same year, he was the first inducted, inductee to the Paniolo Hall of Fame established by the Oahu Cattlemen's Association. In 2003, a large bronze statue of Purdy roping a steer was placed in Waimea Town on the Big Island, erected by the Paniolo Preservation Society. And that's the story of Ikua Purdy. And I'm showing pictures now of the um, Paniolos back in those days. Well, folks, I just hope you um, enjoyed this short uh, video. It's a tribute to Ikua Purdy. We should never forget him. He set the course for others to follow in Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mahalo for watching and ahui ho.